Okay, Sexy Mike Running. It's Thursday, and today is ironic because I am inside a church, and there's a poem about Jesus like two feet over there, and it's really funny. Yeah. This week's theme is by me. This week's theme was chosen by me, Nora T. Rogers, and I chose, um, the theme of, of genres, right? I chose genres, and that was because, A, I couldn't think of anything else, and B, um, I really wanted to talk about, uh, what kind of books I like, and what kind of movies I like, and they all kind of tie together, I guess. Um, I really like sci-fi, but I, I don't know, I don't want to get, I don't like to get too sci-fi-y into stuff. Like, when it starts getting really technical and really just like, less about the story and more about the neat galaxy thingies it can create, like that just gets boring. Like Star Trek, mm, Star Wars, amazing. But I love time travel oh, so much, I love I love watching movies about time travel. I love any of you on time travel. I love, I love, the, I love Back to the Future, which got me started with time travel. And then from there, I just kind of explored a lot of things. And I actually, I think I'm going to see The Time Traveler's Wife soon. I really want to see that because that's a diff different view completely from Back to the Future. It kind of drives me insane because I can't go back in time and change things, which I wish I could change. Um, I also, okay, so besides that, I also really like, reincarnation and death, and that sounds kind of, kind of morbid. Um, it's the same kind of thing, like, it's a little bit, like, scary death, I mean, for some people. For me, it's, like, an accepted fact, I guess. It's not really anything to be afraid of, because I believe in reincarnation, and I also believe in the afterlife. I think there's two, I think, I believe in two separate ways you can take, you can either take reincarnation, or you can just, you know, go on with the life that you have there, but in the afterlife, and, um, and I really think, I really like stories about that. And there's actually this one book that Mercy just gave back to me today, which I'm actually really happy about, and I'll show it to you right now. This book is called The Red Thread. It's really good. And it's about um, this girl who, like, has flashbacks and, like, goes to a psychi psychiatrist, and the psychiatrist, like, helps her, like, tap into her past life, and it's just so good. But she wrote this book called, uh, I think it's like Gallows Hill or something, and it's really good. And it's about like this girl who's who's just ex like uh, exploring all this fortune telling, and then um, they end up like persecuting her because they think she's a witch, and it goes back to like see them witch trials and their past lives there, and it's so. Good. And I also once read this book called Turnabout, and it was about um, like people who these two women and a few other people who like lived their whole life, and they got to be about a hundred years old. And they would take, they got the shot, and they started moving backwards. Oh, that was cool. Like, every year, they'd get younger. Oh, man. Man, that was good. That was a good book. I recommend it. That's all. I love you. And Mitch, Mitch, Mitchell. Like, I know you're not a boy. I'm sorry. You're a very pretty girl. I love you. Bye. See you tomorrow.